All right, well, the motor was hot when it came into the shop. So what we've done is we put some fans on the bottom after we removed the shroud in to get some good airflow on here. Feels like it's cooled off enough. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a few rags to put on top just in case there's still some pressure and some coolant coming out. Uh, but we wanna just crack the top and make sure that when we open the radiator drain valve that we're not gonna get sprayed down there. And nice and easy, make sure that there's no pressure on the system. If there's still pressure, the rags should should help catch some of any spray. So, there we go. All right, so we've got the car up on a, a lift or safely up on a jack stand. And what we're looking for is the radiator drain plug. Uh, a lot of them are plastic these days, so be sure you know which way you're going, uh, that you don't shear it off. And uh, open her up and drain her out. There we go. All right, so we want to make sure that the heater core is fully blown out. Uh, we've got all the valves open there. Uh, to do that, we're going to use some low pressure, high velocity air from a blower. Um, just a shop vac blower or something clean. You don't want to be blowing dirt into your cooling system. But we're going to go right here. This is convenient. This car is routed. Uh, so that we can go right through the the top cap you may have to pull off a hose leading to your heater core um, and use a little fitting to to get the air in there but you could get away with uh, using uh, compressed air um, but that's going to be high pressure low velocity so you want to be real careful that you don't over pressurize the wrong part of your system and break something so we'll just be turning this on and letting it blow out the open radiator drain valve. system back up with Evan's high performance coolant. Um, you'll notice I've got this out of out here so we can see this a little bit. The, the color is a light, light brown, um, not even a honey color, lighter than that. But what you'll notice you'll notice this color will get darker with time. It'll turn brown and even you know after a lot of heat cycles it'll even look like a coffee black color um, that's the dyes that are that are oxidizing and and darkening it does not change the performance of the coolant uh, it doesn't have anything to do with how well it's performing it's been tested and documented that it does just the same as it did right now as it will 10 years from now